Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Wand Factory. Ah, oh, Strawberry. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes, Nanny Plum. Hi, Holly. Hi, Strawberry. Have you come to join us for wand practice? No, I came to see if Holly wanted to play. But now you can join us for wand practice. Uh, but I don't know where my wand is. You're holding it. Oh, yes, so I am. Come along. You know how much fun wand practice is. Ugh. Right, now you can practice lifting rocks with magic. Up and down, up and down. Up. And down. down. Up and down. down. Very good. Keep it going. Up and down. down. Up and down. down. Oh. Oh. Hi, Holly. Hi, Strawberry. Do you want to play football? We can't. We have to do wand practice. Up and down. Up and down. Aren't you supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh, dear. Holly, strawberry. How's wands practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Hooray! Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the Elf Factory! But Nanny, wands are magic and elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, I've broken my wand. She bashed it on a rock. One moment, please. Wise old elf. Wise old elf, please report to reception immediately. Ah, Princess Holly, what can I do for you? Holly's broken her wand. She bashed it on a rock. I see. Not to worry. We'll just mend it. Follow me. You will need these hard hats. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone. We're going deep down. How deep down? Level 500, the Wand Factory. Ah! <laughs> level 500? It's the deepest level there is. Why is the Wand Factory so deep underground? Because wands are magic. And elves don't like magic. So we built the Wand Factory as deep underground as possible. <laughs> oh, my tummy. 
Now, what's wrong with your wand? It broke itself. She bashed it on a rock. Yes, yes, but we need to find out exactly what's wrong with your wand. The X-ray shows it needs a new stick and a cog service. This way, this is the stick house, where we grow wooden sticks for wands. But there are loads of sticks just lying around in the meadow. Ah, but the stick for a wand must be specially grown. And made from the right type of tree. Correct. Nanny Plum. The wood for my wand comes from a plum tree because I am Nanny Plum. The wood for your wand, Holly, should come from a... Holly tree! Exactly. So, Strawberry, what tree does your wand come from? Um, it must come from a strawberry tree. Oh. Let's see how that feels. Hmm, it's a bit big. It just needs a little trim. This stage of wand repair is a mixture of woodwork and gardening. Is my wand mended now? And not yet, Princess Holly. We need to mend the head. Follow me. This is the clockwork room. Spinny Ickle Poo Clam, please. Spinny Ickle Poo Clam. Wooble Cone. Wooble Cone. It all looks very complicated. Bending a wand head is a mixture of surgery and watchmaking. Ah! The Fidge Fudge Rotter Whistle Stick. Whistle Stick. <laughs> Interesting. That doesn't sound right. Very good. Hooray! Can we go home now? Not yet, Nanny Plum. Holly's wand needs testing. To the testing room. The wand testing room. It is the safest place to do magic in the kingdom. Why do you need a special room to do magic? We don't want the magic leaking out and causing trouble. Where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade! We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. <coughs> the lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Plum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. 
Your wand seems to be working perfectly. Don't wait ten years before getting it serviced again. Yes, wise old elf. Sorry. Thank you for mending my wand, wise old elf. You're welcome, Princess Ollie. <laughs> it's good to have you back again, wand. I promise to take special care of you from now on. Yes, don't bash it on a rock. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Daisy and Poppy's pet. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Daisy, Poppy, don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Hmm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony, pony. Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. <laughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wriggly, snakey. An alligator. Alligator, alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet. A hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! <laughs> Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back, back, Pippin. <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin. <laughs> back, Pippin. Back. There, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. Why is the court?
courtyard full of straw. It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> It's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. <laughs> Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Pippin's run away. Oh, um, how sad. How terribly sad. Pippin, Pippin. We've lost Pippin. What a dreadful turn of events. Pippin's gone. Gone forever. Wait, King Thistle. I can get your hamster back. Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben. It's no trouble. Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <coughs> 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 Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! Oh, 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 oh. The things we do for our pets, eh, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! <laughs> it's heading back to the little castle! Oh. oh, my goodness, Mr. Elf! We were spared! But a mighty wheel thundering back from whence it came, and I think it was. <clears throat> There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? The wheel hit the elf tree, but everyone is OK. Hooray! What's the bad news? The wheel is coming back here! Ah! Everyone into the tower! Run for your lives! Yes, King Thistle. Wonderful, isn't it? Your hamster is back home. 
Oh, Pippin's tired. You see? The wheel worked. Now we know how much exercise Pippin needs every day. To the elf tree and back. No! Pippin has to go. Oh, but Daisy and Poppy love Pippin. Pippin. I don't want a pet living in my castle. I could magic Pippin into a different kind of pet. A pet that could live outside the castle. <sighs> OK, Nanny. Just do it. The elves have mended the hamster cage. I, I, I mean the castle, Your Majesty. Splendid! Let's take a look. What? Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Why is there straw in my courtyard? Courtyard? Oh, you mean the feeding bowl. What? Yes, darling. You asked for a pet that could live outside the castle. So we went back to what we all wanted in the first place. A pony! Ah! <laughs> oh, lovely. Pippin pony! <laughs> giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts... At the little castle. The Elf Rocket. No time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is King's work to be done. What King's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> OK, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well, I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. And elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston! <laughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh. OK. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. OK. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. <laughs> ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit as strong as spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible. Elf honour is at stake. Elf honour? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf Factory. Start work on the Elf Rocket immediately. Right. Oh. 
Now, I will work out how to get the elf rocket from here... The Little Kingdom! ...to here. The Moon! Ah, Nanny Plum, I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The elf rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And we're elves. <laughs> ah! May I present the elf rocket? Not bad. Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an elf rocket. The rocket will land here in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnic. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen? What's all this big space for, then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet, then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet? But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palum, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready? Engines are go! Computers ready? Computers online! Fuel system ready? Fuel systems A OK! Start the countdown! I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Or fairy. Oh, sorry, Holly. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. <coughs> Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! <coughs> Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all of the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. Hello! My wings don't work! We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating. 
launching it off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh dear, that's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right, you're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready! <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum! Hold on! Hold on? Hold on to what? Oh no! We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf! Honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode, Picnic on the Moon. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts in outer space. Picnic on the moon. Elf Rocket to Mission Control. In a few minutes, we will land on the moon. Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon! We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Oh, yes, sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. <laughs> Jump! This is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, Go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this Sea of Tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the Sea of Tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep! Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you 
speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look! The aliens love building sandcastles. <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah! Magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding! Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Whoa! Jelly blood! What's happening? Ah! Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly! But the aliens jelly. like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bath. No! Nanny Plum. I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea, and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens! Bye! Bye-bye! I like aliens. Yes, they're lovely. Everybody, get ready for takeoff. I will set the controls for. Oh. What is it? Fuel tank is empty. Ah, we seem to be out of fuel. What does that mean? We are stuck on the moon forever! Oh no! What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's someone... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly! Of course! Nanny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. 
Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. right -o. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> we can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! Lots, lots, lots! Oh, hang on, everyone! We are heading back to the Little Kingdom using jelly power. Hooray! They're on their way home. Mr. Elf, please land the Elf Rocket in the Frog Pond. Right ho! Where are they? <gasps> there they are! Stand back, everyone. <laughs> Launch the dinghy. We're home. Welcome back, Ben and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> we flew to the moon and back. The mission was a complete success. Thanks to the wonders of elf cleverness. Thanks to my magic jelly, you mean. What? Without my magic jelly, we'd still be on the moon. Now, now, Nanny. Let's not argue over the little details. Let's just say elf skill got us to the moon and fairy magic got us home. Hooray! <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Lucy's Picnic. Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the Elf Factory? Yes! This way, please. <laughs> All aboard! Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> ah, my tummy! <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me, look at all this rubbish. Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into gloop. <laughs> the old tin cans are made into clockwork gongs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine and gets squished into flat sheets. 
which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Wow! That's very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're elves! <laughs> this way... Whee! 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 The Elf Factory produces one new toy every second. What happens when you go to bed? Does the Elf Factory stop? Certainly not. We work day and night to make sure the children of the world get their toys. The Elf Factory never stops. Oh, the Elf Factory stopped. What? Slight problem, I'm afraid, wise old elf. We've run out of plastic, metal and old paper. Let's just magic up some more. No, not magic. We're elves and we... Ugh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. <laughs> I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. <laughs> We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes... Uh, uh, Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Uh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> this is a Dad, I can oh, hear big people. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <laughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick! Get out of the bin! Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin! It's not a bin! It's the Great Elf Tower! Just get out of there, you silly old elf! Excuse me! <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy! Uh, hello! Oh. <laughs> Ooh! And a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho, lift ho, lift, 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 lift. Catch ho, catch, catch ho, catch, 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 catch. But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow, I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Beep, beep. 
Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> I live in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! <laughs> it's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> ah. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look, it says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of um fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy? Who were you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy dust. <laughs> what a sweet idea. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. are falling off our tree. It's autumn, Ben. My favourite time of year. Mind you, there'll be leaf sweeping work to do. Let's get everyone organised. <laughs> Calling all elves. Leaf sweeping. Right, right on. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Elves are best at sweeping leaves. And what are we? We're elves. <laughs> <coughs> oh, never mind. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Elves are best at sweeping leaves. And what are we? 
so many leaves, I have to use three magic brooms. Nanny, why do the leaves fall off the trees? Goodness knows. Autumn leaves are so pretty. Oh, they might look pretty to you, Violet, but it just means more work for me. This one looks just like the leaf in Ben's hat. It's an oak leaf. It must be from the elf tree. I don't know why elves have to live in a tree. I don't know why we have to have trees. Or autumn. Grumbling again, Nanny. You should be happy. Autumn is here. Yes, Your Majesty. Where are you going, Nanny? I'm returning these leaves. Wait for us, Nanny. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Well, the best at sweeping Hello, wise old owl. <gasps> I believe these are your leaves. Oh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. Such beautiful colours. Look, the leaves in your hats have changed colour too. Oh, so they have. Hmm, interesting. Let's play tag. OK. Tag. You're it. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> tag. <laughs> Can't catch me. Ooh, look, a birdie. Where? Tag. <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> tag. Holly's it. Can't catch me. I'm too fast. <laughs> Oh, look, a squirrel. You can't trick me like that. No, Ben, there really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look, he's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr Elf. What's going on? It might be... Acorn Day! What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves! Acorn Day has begun! Don't panic! Please leave the elf tree immediately! It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's just a practice. There he goes, Mrs Elf, Mrs Elf. Hello. Oh. Oh. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. Just hand it back. Get out of there, Mrs Elf, quickly. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? One day every year the squirrels come and store their acorns in the great elf tree. We call that day Acorn Day. What's so bad about squirrels storing acorns? Yes, they need to store their food for winter. And it's just an acorn. One acorn would be OK. But there are many squirrels and they have many acorns. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him, wise old elf. It's not your fault, Mrs Elf. There is no stopping them once they've started. What do we do now? Now we wait. You see, after one squirrel has put its acorn in the tree, another will come and copy it. Squirrels are very good at copying. <laughs> Happy Acorn Day! When do the squirrels arrive? Oh, have I missed all the fun? The squirrels have filled the elf tree with acorns, Daddy. Ah, yes. Very clever animals, those squirrels. They're a menace. Well, if you're going to live in an oak tree with little windows, you might as well put up a sign saying, store your acorns here. <laughs> well, if I've missed the squirrels, I might as well go home. Goodbye. Happy Acorn Day. Happy Acorn Day. Wise old elf, why don't you just move the acorns somewhere else? Squirrels won't let anyone move their acorns. Watch. Oh, what 
are you going to do now? Now we're going to move the acorns out of the tree. But you said you couldn't move the acorns. We can't, but we can trick the squirrels into moving the acorns for us. How? Wait here, you'll see. Oh, <laughs> it's very clever. Is it really clever? No, it's stupid. But funny. Ta-da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry, hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> Squeak! Ah, ah, ah. Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh, oh, oh. Squeak! Wise old elf! The squirrels are coming! Uh, uh, squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Oh, good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. Ah! Oh! I say, an acorn. How charming. Your Majesty, throw the acorn away. A talking squirrel. Throw the acorn away, Your Majesty. Ah, wise old elf. Where did you come from? The acorn, Your Majesty. It's dangerous. Nonsense. How can an acorn be dangerous? This lovely acorn isn't dangerous. Two acorns. It must be my lucky day. Yeah! Was that supposed to happen? Well, not exactly. But the castle is a great place to store acorns for the winter. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Happy Acorn Day, Daddy. You didn't miss it after all. Oh. How am I going to get rid of all these acorns? Uh, you will need this squirrel costume. What? How does that work? You wear the costume and the squirrels copy you. I see. OK, on with the costume, Nanny. Off you go. Chop, chop. Uh, eh? Ooh. Happy Acorn Day! Squeak! Squeak! Squeak!